Hello and welcome to um, my little intro to my biggest or one of my biggest set reviews so far. Um, I'm handy, holding the uh, iPad with my hand so far just because I want you to be able to get all of the the building and design stuff in. And I'm going to go straight into a little minifig review because these are some pretty special uh, minifigures. Um, this is the 2012 Haunted House set 10228. Um, retail about £150. You can still buy it on uh, Lego Shop at home, in the UK at least. But it is glass that's kind of hard to find. I'm, I'm expecting this set to disappear at the end of this year. We'll see, 2014. And um, you do get six minifigures, which we'll look at in a second. Um, 2,064 pieces, so breaks a 2,000 piece mark. Pretty big set, three books. Um, I'll show you one of those. So three of these kind of standard um, books. Lots of grey, lots of green, lots going on. But let's jump straight into the minifig review. Um, what I'm going to do is move the house out of the way and then we can look at these in a bit more detail. Okay, so now the actual house itself is out of the way, let's do a quick uh, review of the, the six minifigures you get with this set. I've given you a couple of the uh, accessories that go in the set and I'll explain that when we look inside the house in a second. Now, I'm gonna try something now which is might not work. Three of, sorry, four of the figures have glow-in-the-dark um, plastic, which is cool. We started seeing that in a couple of other sets. I think it was kind of, been around for a while but monster fighters did that quite a lot um so if i turn this last light on you should see a few glowing faces so you can see they're just about uh, the two ghosts and you can see lord vampire as well as uh, lady vampire as well so I'll turn the lights back on okay so that's quite cool and um, what i'll do is i'll do a comparison because i've got one of the older ghosts here from basically when I was a kid, from the, the castle theme. Um, obviously it's a lot cleaner white, the face is a little bit different, and you do get this kind of um, wispy head bit. So the, the ghosts are pretty cool, plus, although they, you know, the old ones glowed in the dark as well, um, you know, they just, they look quite cool. A bit more detail to the ghosts, which are fairly straightforward minifigs. We do have a zombie chef as well. I'm going to take his uh, accessories off from in a second so you can see his face. Now you may have seen his face before. It's not a new uh, face design. The zombie chauffeur has the same face, which you can get a poly bag set and a, another monster fight set, which I can't remember. But loads of detail oh, off this deceased. There he is. He's still alive. Um, uh, figure. So he's got you know food or maybe blood spilt down the front of him. Um, I like the like that bit of detail on the back as well ripped clothes so quite cool not my favorite figure of the set one of my favorites is uh frankenstein's monster he now he's kind of he's not even that really he's kind of just like this lurch type doorman um if you ever watch the monsters um he's kind of just like this mindless guy who just um answers the door when people rang or the adams family they kind of had a similar sort of thing going on he does have a little tray which you can get him to hold. A um, bit difficult when he's quite front heavy. But that sits normally in the house, and I'll show you that in a sec. Very similar in terms of the design to the Lego minifigure Frankenstein's monster, or the monster as it's called. Um, but obviously different printing, different colouring as well, so grey over green. So they are different characters, effectively. But that headpiece is obviously the same mould, with just different colouring and print on the front. Quite like the grey uh, look of this guy. Um, it kind of, you could, you know, with Instagram and all this sort of stuff, put a, a black and white filter on, and he looks really cool, quite ghostly. Uh, Lord Vampire, um, again with the glowing dark face. Similar to the Lego minifigure Vampire, but different torso printing this time. They've gone for a bit more... Uh, detail with the ruffs under the, the clothes and the, the legs do have a small bit of printing on them as well a little belt detail or his jacket extends down and unlike the collectible minifigure version if i can just show you without spinning around he does have a double-sided face which is quite cool plus he does have this 
Count Dooku here with the shouting, angry, scary Dracula face, which I think is really cool. Uh, last but not least, Lady Vampire. I haven't seen any figure like this. We've got a witch in terms of the horror line from collectible movie figures. We just have the, the female dress design, which is not my favourite, but it kind of makes sense for a figure like this. And again, she does have a kind of like a smiling face as opposed to just the scary, I'm about to eat your face off face. Okay, so they're the minifigures. Quite cool. Um, you know, you get a couple of ghosts. They're, they're new, effectively, for this set. So if you are collecting the monster fighters, you want to get all the different uh, monsters and creatures and characters. It's probably the expensive way of doing it, but you do get a few ghosts, uh, female vampire, and then obviously these two which you don't get in any other sets as well. Right, let's move them out of the way and let's go and get the house. So here is the house back in. Um, as you can see, it's pretty tall. As I said, just over 2,000 pieces. So this is a three-story um, haunted house. I'll give you, as best I can, like a, a 3D tour of the house. First of all, just a little bit of detail that I'm not going to spend a lot of time on. Uh, the gates, we saw gates similar to this at uh, Arkham in the Arkham Asylum set, but they had, you know, the the figures on the front, they're sort of deathy to look, uh, looking figures. So, as I said, I'll just give you a quick spin, just so you can get a look of the house itself. There's a chimney, and this is actually the hinge piece that allows you to open up the house, like that. But we keep it as one now. Fairly blank side wall. And here we have the other side, which has kind of got the porch area, which leads into um, kind of the kitchen bit, if you like. So we'll open up the house because the inside is where kind of all the the action happens. Right. So still in shot. I'm just trying to make sure we can get every bit of detail. Then I'm going to show you some of my favourite bits from inside the house. Okay, now I know you can't see every single detail, but it gives you a good idea of what's going on inside. Upstairs we kind of have an attic area. And we've got a gramophone, uh, a box of bits and pieces, which I'll do close-ups of in a second. We have a bedroom with a uh, not-so-spooky, but still cool, wardrobe. A um, few extra details, wall prints again, which I'll show you up close. Then we have a study area. On the first floor on the left hand side and we've got like a little writing desk ink pot and a stool there um frank size little tray sits on that if i can get it to sit properly which i won't be able to i'll just rest it there it's fine then we have a little staircase that goes down to the ground floor which and this is kind of just like a i guess the half the other half of the kitchen that we can see over here maybe you make it a lounge i don't know and then you've got a kitchen with an oven big pot a few bottles, potions, giant cobweb, and this moving little fire piece, which spins around as and when you open and close the house. So lots of little design features, lots of detail. Let's go in and have a look at the actual elements of the house. So I'm going to go mobile now, if I can, and just show you some of the bits up close. So in here we do have uh, the other half of the attic, which I showed you. Um, you do have um, a box, a, a trunk, um, but one of the cool features, if I can access it properly, is this kind of trapdoor uh, element bit, which I'm not going to be able to access. I need to do from under here. I'm just going to push that through, and then this drops down. And basically, you've got yourself a ladder up to the floor or down to the floor below. So that's quite cool. We do have on various walls some prints, so there we have a wolf, uh, werewolf man print, and um, we do have on the other side of the house, if you, don't know if you can see that okay, a little mummy print, there we go, we do also have on this floor, there we go, there's a monster, we do have a heart in a bell jar, which is quite cool, uh, a skeleton moose head, or like a reindeer head, a couple of lamps there, 
and some more prints as well. Uh, going up a floor because we've just missed that. There's the the gramophone. There's the record piece, which has like a, a newspaper thing. Have you seen this ghost? Um, obviously, we have. We're in. It's in this house. Uh, going downstairs. There's the kitchen I talked about with the the oven details. Um, you've got the cobweb. And then you've got the giant cooking pot just there, which is cool. Little bottle, glass jar. One of my favourite features is on top of the fireplace. You've got a tiny printed bottle you get, which just rests like that. And that's got a little picture of a ship on it. So obviously like a ship in a bottle. A lot of the windows have stickers on. You can just see at the top of um, this picture, um, just there, like cobwebs. Some of them have blinds on. Um, others are just left kind of blank so oh, let me move this staircase out the way so you can see inside the study I have knocked the little glass over but I knew that would happen so three floors of Cool little design pieces, lots going on, it's a really fun build, um, the roof and chimney that's kind of doesn't really do much, it is just like a platform if you want, I guess just to put um, some of the characters on there, just to hang out, but we'll knock off and kill maybe, and do what I've just done, and the ghost is inside the trap somewhere, so overall Really great set. Um, as I said, if you've got a bit of budget to spend on some Lego soon, and you're thinking, I've well, got 100, 150 quid, you can try and pick this up before it disappears. You know, who doesn't want to have zombie head uh, pillars outside the front of their house, broken beams, window slats? It just looks really cool. And if you've got a Ghostbusters set, I've been having some fun playing around with some photos. Um, have a look at those are on Instagram but I'm gonna go now this video is turning into a long epic one but thanks for watching check out my other videos and I'll see you soon